Welcome to My South Africa. Here we talk about all things related to business and entrepreneurship using examples and illustrations that are easy to follow. Our economic climate is forcing a lot of people to be entrepreneurs. Unemployment is rising in South Africa, forcing people to open up businesses. These are some business ideas that are practical for a township. These ideas actually work and are not too idealistic. It's not easy to start a business, run it and make it successful. That's why most people stay far away from starting businesses. However, these businesses are common in most of our townships. Here is our list of the best township business ideas. A Shisanyama business. A Shisanyama can be a very lucrative business to start in a township in South Africa. A successful Shisanyama usually makes more money than established businesses running from town or the suburbs. Studying a successful Shisanyama might require you to have a bit of capital. You can make more than 100,000 a month just by running a Shisanyama. Check out our video on how to start a Shisanyama business. A Spaza Shop A Spaza Shop can be a very good way of earning a living and a successful business in a township. The Spaza Shop industry in South Africa is very profitable and has been the backbone of the Ekasi economy for ages. Studying a Spaza Shop will require you to have a space to rent and some stock to start with. Check out our video on how to start a Spaza Shop business. Wholesaler If you don't like the idea of running a Spaza Shop, you can choose to be a wholesaler. A lot of these Spaza Shops will be ordering products in bulk from you. There might be multiple Spaza Shops, but there are very few wholesalers. Opening up a wholesaler will demand a lot of capital from you. Hair salons and barber shops. Running a hair salon business has proven to be a good way of making money for township entrepreneurs, especially when it deals with women hair. Hair salons are a good business to start no matter where you are and they are not that expensive to start. The only thing you need to keep this business afloat is customers. This is why a lot of people who start this business don't stop easily. Even barber shops make a lot of money. A barber that charges data rents for a haircut and gets around 20 clients a day can make around 18,000 rands a month. Car wash. A successful car wash business can make a lot of money in a township. When studying a car wash business, you need to pay close attention to its location. It should be easily accessible. If you provide a good service, then you'll be making money in no time. A car wash has the potential to make a huge amount of money. This is why you find car wash franchises in towns and suburbs. Quota business. Who doesn't love a quota, aka Skambani or Spatlo? Every township has a place that is famous for delicious quarters. You can make more profit running a quarter business by selling some things separately, like chips, cool drinks, archer, rations, and others. This is a great business to start in a township. Check out our video on how to start a successful quarter business. Internet Cafe Most people in the townships are battling with data prices, and most still don't have the equipment to be fully active on the internet. Those are things like laptop and computers. Some of them have phones, but they only use data for social media and not to improve their lives using the internet. You as an entrepreneur can open an internet cafe and include a Wi-Fi. You can also charge them for access to the Wi-Fi. This is a good business opportunity that actually helps the township. It might cost a lot to start as you will need operating premises and equipment. Gaming Lounge Most people are suckers for video games. You can simply open a gaming lounge that has the latest gaming consoles and video games. You can top it up by adding pool tables and other forms of entertainment. This can make you a lot of money. You can even host FIFA tournaments. Those will attract a lot of people to your gaming lounge. A tavern or a nightclub. Taverns and nightclubs can make you a lot of money. A lot of people like drinking and entertainment. It's no secret. You can position yourself as the main place to be for entertainment in a township. This can be one of the most successful businesses to start in this list. When successful, these types of businesses can make over a million rands of profit in a year. Catering business. You can cater for people's parties or weddings or any events in townships. Catering services are always in need and this is one business that doesn't restrict you to your geographical location but allows you to go to almost anywhere in your province. You can get clients from the township, suburbs and towns. Rental accommodation. You can choose to be a landlord, aka must stand. This is a good way to earn passive income in a township, but has its limitations. The amount of money you make will be limited by the number of rooms or spaces you can rent out. Changing your income will mean constantly adding new rooms or increasing the rent. But this is a very stable business that will always work. 
people are always looking for a place to rent, a tattoo shop. This business is not popular in townships. I don't understand why. There are a lot of people who get tattoos at townships. They have to travel to town just to get a tattoo. You can bridge that gap and offer those services to them. That's if you have the skills. Tattoos are very sensitive and need artists who know what they are doing. Clothing business. There has been a trend whereby people are supporting local businesses. This has seen a lot of clothing businesses take off. Don't just do a t-shirt business but manufacture unique clothing. Create a brand. A lot of entrepreneurs make the mistake of basing their clothing businesses on current trends. You can't do that when looking to create a lasting brand. Check out our video on how to start a successful clothing business. Bed and breakfast. This is an obvious one. It can make a lot of money when done right. You'll most likely always get customers. However, to increase your visibility, you will need to be easily accessible online. The first step to doing that is getting your website and registering yourself in relevant directories and partnering with platforms like Booking.com. Sewing and tailoring. This type of business has the potential to make you a lot of money, but it needs you to be professional from the start. If you set up an environment like renting a proper space and investing in the right equipment, you should see some money coming in from this business. The barriers to entry are fairly low if you know what you are doing and have the proper skills. Creative artwork and designs. The list of businesses under this list heading would be photography, graphic design and other art related businesses. These businesses usually don't earn you that much money but can earn you enough income to make a living. Kids transportation services. Another business that can be started from a township is a kids transportation business. You can transport kids to and from school. You will have to charge monthly fees. Although this business has its limitation, it's enough to earn you a living income. Event organizing. This is one fun and exciting business to start in a township that can make you a lot of money. Just needs patience. It can take about five years before you start seeing a lot of money. The idea behind this is that you can host annual events at a township. It usually takes some time before events gain popularity, but when they do, you can make over 200,000 just from one event. You can also organize events for other people. Tutoring services. Offering tutoring services to high school kids can be a great way to make an income in a township. This is a good business because you'll offer tutoring services on the subject you know best. In most cases, it doesn't require any capital to start. You can speak with schools and organize with them to advertise your services to their learners. Gardening services. You can do gardening for parks, recreational centers, and government facilities. The right equipment is needed for this. You can even do gardening for schools and a lot of facilities in your township. You don't necessarily have to do gardening for individuals, but to get tenders on that level, you'll need to have an equipment and a registered business. These are some of the best township business ideas. Studying a business is not easy. Put in the necessary hard work and consistency and you will build a solid business. Do you have any thoughts or questions? Comment below.